Yo, what's going on guys, man? Welcome back. Today, we got a little bit of a new update just before Christmas, man. Just for Christmas Eve, they've added some new stuff. We got the Snow Fight game mode, which is 2v2, but with snowballs. I don't know, man. We also got Drop Zone, which is the main thing we're focusing on within this video. They also added Shoot the Ship, which is Shipment and Shoot House. Bro, that's insane, by the way, for camos. So if you do want to go for camos, Damascus, then use this. So you can also use Drop Zone, which I'll be explaining a little bit as well. But I actually can't wait to play this. If you don't know what it is, you hold the Drop Zone to earn points and care packs. Packages drop. Basically, a hard point, but once you're in the hard point, a care package drops. So there's no streaks or specialists or anything like that. You just gotta get into the hard point to get streaks. Quickly, though, if you haven't seen my last video, you wouldn't know that I've started an Instagram now. Finally, Flipping Brothers over on Instagram, man. Make sure you go follow me over there. The link will be in the description or you can type it in Flipping Brothers. Just type it in and follow me over on there, man. I'll be posting my first picture probably when I hit a thousand followers and we're getting pretty close. So yeah, the link's in the description. Make sure you go follow me over on Instagram, man. And of course, it's Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas Eve. It's about to be Christmas, man. I'm hyped. I just need to see a lot of Merry Christmas is in the comments down below real quick and of course drop a like on the video for that Christmas spirit you already know the vibes come on now yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so this is drops on right here I do remember it from like Modern Warfare 3 but I didn't really play it like that though so I don't really know the exact rules to it one thing I do know is the fact that I've got no kill streak so low key I probably could use specialist out I got good shit wait I've never used this, man. What the flip? Okay, yeah. This experience of drop zone is actually pretty... What the flip, bro? Why are you all here? No, bro. No, bro. You can't be serious. You can't be serious. How? How is the game going to end? Are you serious? Oh, my God. I can't believe we almost dropped a nuke in that first game, bro. That's my first game under the day we almost dropped a nuke. That's annoying at the time right now. I thought it was like, I swear in hard point, if someone stood on the hard point, like the time stops, no? Am I tripping? Something along those lines. I don't know. I could be wrong. But anyway, this is drop zone. The good thing about this is obviously people want streaks. People want to get streaks. So you kind of force, if you want streaks, you got to go to the hard point to get them. You also kind of got to get to the hard point to stop your enemies. Oh, flip. It stop your enemies from getting streaks as well, which is like a main thing. Because you don't want to be playing and then somehow let your teammates get a gunship or something. Because you saw how that went. It's kind of annoying. Forced to go. Wait, I heard someone. I don't know. Maybe I'm, tri maybe I'm tripping, lads. Maybe I'm tripping, lads. I don't know. All I'm saying is you don't want to let the enemy team go on a crazy tear just getting care packages. Because then, yeah, you'll end up losing the game and probably going crazy because of the amount of streaks that are in the air. Hold on. I think that's why a lot of people played it back in the day. Just because of how people were running around on that game mode in comparison to others. I oh, that's a hit marker. And that's good on this game as well because people literally just camp on this game. So, yeah, again, the force to move. Same with cranks. People are forced to move because they've only got 30 seconds to get another kill. They also added a flipping 24-7 shipment and shoot house game mode or playlist which is absolutely insane if you guys are going for camos then you should probably make sure you are playing that because that is probably the easiest way to get your camos done the easiest way without a doubt shipment was way too easy and it's probably going to be pretty easy to find now in that playlist of course there was a season one playlist where you could find vacant but i'm pretty sure man i don't know man he made vacant like easier to find or maybe it was just because the amount of full games on shipment because everyone wanted to play that rather than vacant I'm a bait you team, mate. You go ahead. Love that. <laughs> See, look, now they got a veto, man. And that's just because they got a care package. They literally cannot get streaks in any other way. So now because we allowed them to get a flipping care package, they've got a veto. It's annoying. You're literally forced to go to the hard point. You guys know when I you know when I'm playing, I don't really go for objective, but now I'm kinda I kinda have to. I can tell you though, it is working. It is working. It's making people run around, which is sick. 
I always thought this game would be sick when people run around and it actually is working. I lied white phosphorus. A low key, I don't even like it when my teammates get them. I don't even like it when my teammates get them because it still ruins the map. Oh. Oh, I lied the Oh, sick. There we go. Love that. See, got an advice. UAV, that's a vibe. Wait, oh yeah, in the care package. I forgot. I'm tripping because I keep forgetting. There we go. There we go. There's one. Wait on this guy. There's another. Okay, the advanced UAV is gone, unfortunately. That went pretty quick. Teammates got a chopper gunner now as well. Oh, it's all a bit crazy. How did he get there? A flipping hit marker that close, man. Oh my god. But yeah, as you can see, people are running around a lot more than they were, which is making this game a lot more fun to play. I'm liking the. Really, man? So EOD just saved my life, but I'm liking like some of the stuff they're doing. Like, with the game ones that make you run fast and just like, I don't know, play faster? Man. The most annoying part about this game is when people just sit still and don't do anything. But when the force to, I'm telling you, it plays so much different. So much different, man. And not only that, it will make the grind for camels a lot easier, which is, uh, I don't know. A lot of people are happy about that since, you know, Damascus is pretty difficult to get or at least extremely, at least extremely time consuming. Hold up. Cool about this map as well is the fact that yo low key Damascus looks pretty fire. Yeah, yeah. Yo, do you know what I've never understood yet? I've low key never understood when people speak in game chat. Like, do you know, like you have a whole group of people? Wouldn't you just hop in a party chat so no one hears your business? Bro, my shirt ain't gonna make it tough. I'm hurry your ass up, boy. Yo, shut up, man. Yo, don't you put that under? Shut up, lad. Oh, go 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 go. This man said shut up and took his mic out, bro. What a pussy. Put your mic back in KB, fam. I'll slide that to your uncle. KB, put your mic in now, boy. Come on, boy. Your boy's gone now. What, boy? Pussy. Boy, 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 Yo. boy. Yo. at me. Oh, really, boy. Yo, Dam Yo. I was about to say Damascus is a lot of fun, but I'm not talking about Damascus. Flipping drop zone is a lot of fun. Trust me when I say that. Just because, yeah, everyone moves. So you got to have fun doing that. Surely people are forced to move. Like, how could you not have fun playing this, man? Like, you know, people have always said, you know, Modern Warfare would be fun if people moved around. A lot of people have started blaming it on the players rather than the actual game itself. So now there's no real excuse because people are running around now. Let's get him. Ow! I'm trying to like streak up as if I'm going to get streaks. Do you know what I mean? Nothing's really going to happen. I'm saying, man, you guys should give this a try. And especially, yeah, I actually just thought about it. If you're doing the RPGs, this could be a lot of like, I don't know, just easy streaks to be destroyed. Especially if you need like, I don't know, ground streaks destroyed. Anything up. Sick. Anything along those lines, man, you can literally just hop in this and they're like guaranteed to get streaks, man. As well as all the playlists, they've added double uh, tier XP and double XP, just standard double XP, which is cool. You know, they took double weapon XP away at the perfect time just after I got just after I got Damascus, which is kind of amazing for me, to be honest. Like, I'm kind of happy that he did it at this time, rather than a little bit earlier when I'm going for, like, the knife or something. That would have been annoying. But if you guys are trying to, I don't know, get to level 155 or maybe... No, no, trying to get to max tier in a battle pass, more importantly. Now is your time to do so, So I feel like these double tier XPs are going to be uh, pretty rare, honestly. Like, there's no other way to get it. Like, I don't think there's any double tier XP tokens that you can possibly get. So, especially if you wanted to get those, I don't know, those very towards the end of the battle pass you don't really play that much yeah for sure you should make use of this time oh flip just a quick tip for you guys anyway man because i know a lot of you i don't know of course you know won't buy all the tiers for the battle pass and of course don't play as much as me or other people that i've got it already you know max out so you should definitely if that's the case you should definitely make use of this time without a doubt because i don't know where they're coming from right now bro and i don't know which way to look i don't really play these maps often so i'm quite inexperienced when it comes to pack me yard and stuff like that now I used to play them a lot on the beta why did I know he was there? I didn't hear him or anything. I just get hear people. Why did I know? Wait, has he got Damascus? No, no, he hasn't. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, since I've been getting Damascus, I feel targeted. I feel definitely targeted just because not many people have it. So, like, if you see someone with it, you're going to try and pick up the weapon, innit? Just to see what it's like, you know, on your screen. Rather than, you know, watching it in a YouTube video or stuff like that. You want a first-hand experience with it. Especially if you're not going for it. So, I don't know. I always feel, uh, I always feel targeted when I get killed now. The most demoralizing thing is when they kill you. Oh, wait, I'm not letting you get that. I'm sorry, Chief. I don't want to allow you to do that. Let's get here. Here we go. What the flip? I'm actually having a lot of fun playing this, man. I did not expect this. Enemy advantage, baby. Are you serious? 
as soon as I start going on a little bit of a streak, they get an advanced UAV. Like, come on now. And I got to survive for a while because they know exactly where I am at all times right now. They know exactly what I'm doing. Circling around this whole building. I'm flipping paranoid. Absolutely everything. It's annoying. There we go. There we go. Love that. Just try to help the squad. No, bro. Am I on my own here?